Hey guys, how's it going? So I just want to say you guys are absolutely awesome. You're amazing. You really are. I've gotten gift cards in the mail. I have gotten uh, multimeters. I have gotten test leads for the meters. I've gotten bolt extractors. I've gotten um, hood hold the the prop holders. I, I've gotten a bunch of stuff sent to me, and it's absolutely awesome. I appreciate it. And I know I'm missing stuff. It's and I apologize if I am, but you know, just like I said, I'm getting blown away by how nice you guys are, how, how giving you guys are, truly. Again today, um, I don't know who this person is. Her name's Katrina. She figured out it was just my birthday, and I got a package. It said a birthday gift to you from Katrina. Okay, I don't know who Katrina is. Check this out. I'm, Again, mind blown. TC005, handheld thermal imaging camera. I had already opened up the package because I was really curious. You know, I'm, first I made sure it wasn't ticking, like it was gonna explode on me or something. And this is what I got. A nice handheld pouch that you can actually put on your belt in case you're actually gonna use it an awful lot. I did look in these instructions they're not very good instructions, I will say that. You got to play with this thing to figure out what's going on. You got a charger, which I got to figure out because I haven't figured out if the charger actually shows you if it's charging or not. It's got some kind of a mount for, like, I guess a tripod. But do you know what this is used for? As it says, thermal imaging. Like, some of you might say, oh, okay, so what are you going to use that for in a car? I tell you what, this, this, this comes in handy. If you've ever had those laser temperature, it looks similar to this, but smaller, where it points a dot to something and it tells you what the temperature is. Okay, this is that on steroids. It actually has a camera right there, or uh, like a screen right there. These are the cameras. And what you could do is, let's say, let's say you got a car with a misfire, an older car with a misfire, and you can't tell which one it is, which cylinder it is. You can aim this to the exhaust manifold, go to each exhaust manifold and let's say you see one reading like let's just i'm just giving round numbers let's say you see one reading 250 another one reading 275 and then all of a sudden you got one that's reading 140 well guess what that 140 is the one that's misfiring it's not making any heat um you can use this on your rotors or something like that like let's say you're, you're wondering if you got an issue going on with your brake calipers you know you take it for a ride or whatever you aim this at your wheel and you look at one side and then you look at the other just to see what the temperature is. So super handy. You can use it on exhaust systems. Many, many, many different uses for it. Uh, I'm actually very excited. So let me turn this thing on and I'm gonna use it on the van. We just went out uh, for a drive with the van. We had to go to the store and I'm just gonna show you on the van. It's pretty cool. So actually, let me shut my light off. <clears throat> so right here, we're gonna Turn this on. Okay, let's go over to the van while this thing loads up. Because it takes a it takes a moment for everything to load up. See there. System is initializing. Let me show you on the outside of the van first. Yeah, pretty darn cool. All right, so see that center square? That's what you're looking at. And then that red mark right there, that's a high. That green mark is a low. That means highest temperature, coolest temperature, and then what you're looking at. And there it gives maximum temperature, minimum temperature. And there's your range in between. So let's go here and let's look at the rotor itself. So there I have that image on the rotor. And it's telling me 145. Okay. Now, some reason on this van, this thing goes through brakes quick. I've yet to figure out why. I'm not overly concerned. See, now this side's a little bit cooler. Actually, no, no, I'm sorry. It's a little bit hotter. 152. Oh, actually, now it's showing 200. 150. 
Okay, no, it's actually more around 150. I don't know why I was reading 200 there. So, yeah, pr pretty neat stuff. I hate how this camera keeps going light and dark. But let me start this thing up, and then let's look underneath the hood, and let's check different things under the hood. So now the neat thing is, see how the red is showing the hot spot, the, the green is showing a cool spot, and the white is where I'm aiming it? See, that's actually pretty cool that it'll it'll show you those different areas, you know, whatever is in the camera view. I'm sorry if there's a reflection here. There's nothing I can do about it. There, the green is in the top left. I don't even know where the red is at this point. Red is uh, just there on the edge. But, you know, if you wanted to find a misfire, like I said, said you're going to shoot it there to the where the white is. See the white mark in the center? I'm going to move that down to the flange of the manifold there. That's showing that's 247. I'm coming into the middle. Showing two. 33, 236, something in that range. The end one here. Let's see. It's hard to film this and do this at the same time. 225 ish. Okay, so they're. 234, 255. There we go. So see, it's all within several degrees of one another, so that's pretty cool. Plus, if you're wondering, you know, is the motor really that hot? You know, hey, you can thermal image right on that. So this is this is this is pretty darn neat, you know. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find this thing on um, Amazon. I'm gonna put the link up. I, I have no idea what this thing even goes for. I have the slightest idea. It's pretty darn cool. Oh, it will take us. It will take a picture too. Right here. Let me show you. Is that how you take a picture? Let's see. <laughs> I'm learn. I, I literally just open this thing up. Maybe it's not how you take a picture. There's a way to take a picture. I'm not exactly sure how you do it. Hold on. No. I know that's the light, this one. I don't know. I gotta I gotta figure that out. There's a way to take a picture. I just don't know it. Measurement. I thought it was with this, but I guess it's not with this. Well, I will learn it. I will learn how this thing works. It, like I said, it's kind of difficult to film with one hand, show you this in the other hand, try to look through the camera to make sure you're seeing it, and then look at this at the same time and do the same thing. So, but anyway, I thought that was pretty neat. I'm going to see if I can find it on uh, Amazon. I, I should be able to. It came in an Amazon box. But, uh, yeah. So, well, again, thank you, Katrina. Thank you for figuring out it was my birthday. I don't know how in the world you figured that out, but you did. All right, guys. So, hopefully you're getting something out of my videos. If you are, hit that like button. Could please subscribe. Uh, oh, one thing. This bad boy right here. I got to get it up and running because I got to get it moving. Uh, I haven't moved it in about two years. <clears throat> She's seen better days. She really has. She did run. Um, she did drive. You know, I used to, I used to drive her. Um, but it's been a while and uh, she really needs some loving. I just haven't had time because of everything going on. But I hate to keep saying it, but things are happening. And once they do happen, that's going to be one of my projects along with the uh, Camaro. So, all right. If you're getting something out of my videos, hit that like button. If you could please subscribe. Again, guys, thank you so much. You're awesome. You really are. All the gifts I, I, I get, it's just, it's amazing. I'm going to have to start doing a separate video showing you guys what you're sending me. And I'm gonna make it to where I send you guys um, like t-shirts or something. I'm gonna start making t-shirts soon. All right, guys, have a great day. Keep running. Duh. There's a trigger right here. You hit the trigger and that's what takes the picture.